Okay, so I bought Modern Warfare 3 off Steam, and um, I was a bit annoyed that it didn't support uh, any 360 controllers or any controllers at all. So um, I've got it open running down here, so I'll show you in just two seconds. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to go to Google, and um, then uh, type into the address bar www.xpadder.com. Uh, the link's in the description. Uh, it, this is just a summary. It supports all Windows uh, XP, Vista, Windows 7, 32 bit, 64 bit, everything. Um, you go to download, click on the country, blah 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 blah, and then uh, once you get through to it, it will pop up in just a second. It'll come up with a PayPal, and um, it is ten dollars, but it's totally worth it if you're going to use it online or uh, with other games other than Modern Warfare 3 or 2 or whatever. Um, so you'll type in your details, there's my email address there, probably shouldn't have showed that, but um, yes, once you've done that, uh, it will, I think it downloads from the browser, and then you install it, and once you've done that, you'll go to where the directory where you installed it, and I think that's here, it's better, and what you'll do is, you'll uh, open it up, uh, yours won't look like that, it should be just a blank grey screen, and what you'll do is, you'll um, you go to uh, this little controller here, click new, and um, it comes up with uh, this. And you'll want to open, and uh, it should automatically go to uh, controller images. If not, then go to the directory and then click on controller images. And uh, as you can see, it's got quite a lot of controllers on here to choose from. Um, this is the one that I'm using, so I'll click that. Uh, first off, we'll do the sticks. Enable, left, up, and then it's automatically set. As you can hear, my And then the same with the right, right, left, up, and then we'll drag those over to the actual. Okay, now we'll do the D-pad. So up, down, left, right, and now we'll do the buttons A, B, X, Y. So A, B, X, Y. You will need to drag those over. And once you've done that, we'll move on to. Oh, wait first, obviously. Um, well, we'll move the do that over here. Back button and uh, oh, buttons. Back button and start button. Left buffer, right bumper. Uh, left stick, right stick, and that should be all done. So we'll move those over to uh, left bumper, left stick, right bumper, right stick, and shoot, right stick, and back and start and start. Okay, so once you've done that, you need to choose tri uh, enable triggers. Hold trigger left, hold trigger right. So now I'll click every button: right, left, right, up, down, left, right, up, down. As you can see, it moves the mouse. D pad up, D pad down, left, right, back, start, X, Y, A, B. No, do not clear. As you can see, yeah. Uh, right. Uh, so now left, left, right, left stick, right stick. And now you press OK. And once it's on here, it will let you click every single box. And once you've clicked the box, it will choose the. It will bring it will bring up a virtual keypad, and you'll click on the button that you want to use, or you can just click on the keyboard. And that's it. Then you'll click save, save as, save it to uh, layouts, or just save it in the folder. It doesn't really matter. And then, um, yeah, that, that's uh, that's about it. Um, I'm pretty sure it will automatically uh, select it. So. Um, when you open Modern Warfare 3, as long as Xpad is open in the background, so even if I close this, it should be sitting down here like that. If you open Modern Warfare 3 now, it will be. I'll open it, I think I'm in the middle of a uh, survival on here. So, um, yes, so I'll choose. I'm moving the mouse with my right stick, um, everything's fine there, so it's a few people come in. It's pretty easy to use, set all your buttons up. Let's see if we can find someone. Suicide bombers. Yeah. Right, look down here. So yeah, it's pretty simple to use. Thank you for uh, watching. That's about it. Cheers.